Welcome back to Vox Terra. Today, stunning from Democracy Now!, and you probably heard a similar headline elsewhere, Record Flooding Forces Closure of Yellowstone National Park, June 14th of 2022. In Montana, record flooding has forced the closing of all five entrances to Yellowstone. Roads and bridges in the area have been washed away, following unprecedented rainfalls. Okay, so look, Democracy Now!, yes, they mention climate change, but how much else of the media does that? Well, you know why. I believe it's, it's, you know what I think, it's the power and influence of that fossil fuel petrochemical industry and the fact that scientists operate on probability. So let's just explain the climate mechanism so people can get it down because without the public getting it down, they're not going to be clamoring for climate change action and the scaling back of fossil fuels rapidly. So look, the basics, and I'm going to cite you from, again, the EPA, NOAA, Scientific American, and other, the Earth's heating to Fahrenheit hotter since the start of the Industrial Revolution, quoting from the Natural Resources Defense Council, this hotter atmosphere, these hotter oceans, well, the hotter atmosphere retains more moisture and the hotter oceans give up more. Studying the EPA, warmer oceans increase the amount of water vapor that evaporates into the air. NRDC again, a warmer atmosphere holds and subsequently dumps more water. Basically, because of global warming, when it rains, it pours. Studying NASA, because of warmer temperatures, more precipitation is falling in the form of rainfall rather than snow. Now keep in mind what that's doing to those snow packs out west or those places that depend on snowpack for their water supply. Going to EPA climate change indicators, which any reporter could do, in recent years, larger percentages of precipitation have come in the form of intense single day events. Nine of the top 10 years for extreme events have come since 1996. And the prevalence of single day extreme events has been steadily increasing since the 1980s. Think about the 1980s flock of seagulls. I ran, ran so far away. Just an aside, and because of that heating Arctic, heating faster than the rest of the planet, as I've said before, the Gulf Stream, the jet stream, the atmospheric and oceanic currents are getting weaker or more sluggish, basically getting messed with throwing off the world's weather patterns. And remember, those climate feedback loops are kicking in. The time is now to scale away from fossil fuels. Think climate change mitigation, meaning contribute less to the problem on a policy level and climate change adaptation. If you don't hear your politicians addressing those issues, then they are not the politician for you. Hey, I hope you found this super helpful, interesting, entertaining. Please make sure you're subscribed. You click the notification bell. And until next time, you're liking, you're commenting, you're donating a Patreon. And as always, peace be with you.